The main risk factor for both forms of mesothelioma is asbestos exposure. Pleural mesothelioma occurs when inhaled asbestos fibers travel to the ends of the small airways and penetrate into the lung and the chest wall. These asbestos fibers can also be coughed up and swallowed, causing cancer in the abdomen, referred to as peritoneal mesothelioma. The amount of asbestos a person has been exposed to and the length of time they were exposed affects their risk of developing mesothelioma. The risk of developing pleural and peritoneal mesothelioma cancer does not decrease with time after exposure to asbestos. If you have any of these risk factors for developing mesothelioma cancer, you may wish to visit the How Can I Get Tested section of our website. There you will find more information on the various medical tests available for detecting the presence of asbestos-related illnesses. For more information, please visit our online mesothelioma resource center at mesorc.com today.